Are you stressed, tired, and not your preferred weight? Well, me too. Hi, I'm Michelle LeMay with LeMay Chiropractic and Wellness. Welcome to another episode of The Wellness Connection. If you are already a subscriber to our channel, thank you so much for being a part of our community. If you are not, then this is a great opportunity to hit that little red subscribe button and then the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new content. So maybe you are like me and you are stressed, tired, and let's say not your preferred weight. Or maybe you know somebody who is all those things and maybe has tried a whole bunch of different things to um, no or very little results. So my question is, have you checked your thyroid? Today, I have got a really cheap and easy do-it-yourself at-home patch test that you can quickly test your thyroid. Now, this is not diagnostic. This is kind of like a pre-test test, but it's very quick and easy because all you're going to need is tincture of iodine. And you can find that at just about any pharmacy around the country. So, and I'll go over that here in just a sec. So depending on your results from this at-home test, that would determine whether you want to follow up with your doctor and get a full thyroid blood panel. And not just testing one thing, but have your doctor request all of them. So you get a good picture of how things are functioning. So yesterday... I did the iodine patch test, and I'll show you that footage in just a sec. But before I do, I want to read to you from the instructions sheet of the iodine patch test that we give patients when they do it at home. Now, if you're like me, I didn't go to school to study endocrinology or uh, any kind of ology. I barely passed biology in college. Um, so. I didn't know about iodine. I didn't know why iodine was important. So let me read to you a little bit from this instruction sheet. Because the whole point of this test is to decide whether there is a need for organic iodine. Uh, because the thyroid needs iodine to manufacture T4. Now don't ask me what T4 will do. You could ask Dr. LeMay um, or you can obviously Google it. But a low intake of food and plant iodine can cause hypo, meaning low, thyroid function. Okay, so what? why is uh, iodine levels so important? So here's the thing. Low levels of iodine mean your thyroid isn't functioning properly. The thyroid helps, so here's our list of things that it helps. Balance hormones, that's important. Regulates heartbeat really important, stabilizes cholesterol, and if you're not sure why that's important, I'm going to include a link to my husband's video on the uh, endocrine triad, where it talks about cholesterol. Um, it also maintains weight control, that's what we're interested in. It encourages muscle growth, that would be nice, keeps menstrual cycles regular, also a very good thing, provides energy, yeah, who doesn't want more of that, and helps keep you having a positive mental attitude. Well, we could always improve our mental attitude, can't we? But here's the thing. Women are naturally prone to iodine deficiencies. That's because, I don't know if you knew this, but the thyroid gland in women are twice as large as in men. So under normal circumstances, women need more iodine. However, when women are under stress, and ladies, when aren't we under stress, the need for iodine can double or triple. Yet the foods we eat contain less and less dietary iodine. Get this. For example, back in 1940, the typical American diet contained about 8 100 micrograms of iodine. By 1995, that amount plunged to just 135 micrograms. Okay, if you can quickly do the math, well, here you go. 
that's an 83% decline. Now, I don't know about you, but there's some foods that I don't eat. And listen to this. Two-thirds of the body's iodine is found in the thyroid gland. One of the best ways to boost your iodine levels is to add sea vegetables to your diet. Now, I don't like sea vegetables, but just one teaspoon of sea vegetables a day can help regain normal iodine levels. Okay, well, sorry, I'm just not going to do it. <laughs> Incorporating seafood and fish into your diet can also help. Unfortunately, I am not a seafood or fish fan, so if I'm going to get any kind of iodine, it's going to be in a supplement. Just like liver, I'm not going to eat liver, I'm going to take it in a supplement. So that's going to be the same thing for me with iodine. So there's a little bit of information about the iodine patch test and why iodine is so important. So let me show you the footage that I did yesterday of me doing the actual iodine patch test. Check it out. So here's how you do the iodine patch test. So first of all, you need to go purchase some tincture of iodine. And you can usually find that at just about any pharmacy or drugstore. So it'll be the dark yellowish orange color of iodine and it could come in a roller bottle like this or which you can just roll on and I'll show you that in a second or you can use a cotton ball to apply it or a q-tip something like that so whatever is easiest so I am going to take my tincture of iodine and I am going to kind of paint a two inch by two inch square on the inside of my forearm so I'm gonna do that like this and really make it dark and deep as you can. And just a word of caution, this stuff stains. So be careful not to get it around any clothing that you um, consider important because if it touches it while it's still wet or even mildly wet, it will stain it for good. So there is, hopefully you can see that. Um, pretty nice. It's probably more than two inches, but that's okay. I want to make sure that we have a good starting point here with my iodine patch. And then I'm going to check it every couple of hours. So I'm going to set a timer in my phone. So I be sure. So I'm going to, so we just put it on there. Okay. So it's Friday, June 19th, and it is 2.02 PM. So I'm going to put a timer in my phone to check it in two hours and then I'll show you what it looks like then. And I'm gonna make sure that I track it until it just about disappears. So hopefully it won't disappear too quickly and I'll explain more about that later. Nope, well, there you go, I'll see you in a few hours. Okay, so it's been almost a couple hours. It is 1.54 p.m. And I'm going to check and see how my patch, my iodine patch is doing. So let's see if you can, you know, it's slightly different lighting than at home, but there you go. You can kind of see it's maybe 10% lighter, maybe 20%, so not very much. Um, again, but it's only been a couple hours. I'm going to check it again in two hours and see how I'm doing then. All right, see you in a little bit. Okay, we are ready for another patch test check. And it is 4.01. So now it's been four hours. And let's see what it looks like. Can, it's kind of hard to tell with the lighting again, but ooh, that is not looking good. See, we do not want it to disappear because that means that my body is sucking up the iodine that it desperately needs because that's probably about 50% absorbed, 50% gone. However you want to look at it, it's about half there, about half gone. So uh, my body is going, I need iodine. So 
Um, we're going to do another check in a few hours and see how it's doing then. So cross your fingers. I think I might have found the key to my challenge of not being at my ideal weight. So we'll see. I'll be back. So it's time for the final check. It is 8.42. Hopefully you can see that without much glare. So 8.42 p.m. So it's over eight and a half, almost nine hours since I applied that at noon. And yeah, it's pretty much just about all gone. So I don't know if you can hopefully see that, but yeah, it's take my word for it. It's pretty much gone. You can barely, barely see anything there, maybe 5% there. So that's not good because you want the patch to last at least 24 hours or pretty close to 24 hours. So mine only lasted maybe nine. So that means I'm probably pretty deficient in iodine. So what do I do about that? I'll tell you in just a sec. Yeah, I pretty much failed that patch test. So like I said at the beginning, this is not a diagnostic test. It's just kind of a pretest test. So because of my results, I am definitely low in iodine. So I am going to contact my doctor, Dr. LeMay, and request that we get a full thyroid blood panel done. And this way, we'll get a better overall, very accurate way of how my thyroid is functioning. And like I said earlier, there's three basic ways that you can get iodine. From food, which is all those seafood and sea vegetables and fish, which I don't like very much, or prescription medication, which I don't like even worse, or a whole food supplement, which is what I am going to end up doing for my low thyroid. Um, you can, um, that is obviously a personal choice that you need to make along with the advice of your doctor. So I'm not telling you which way to go. I'm just telling you that there's a couple of good companies that we get our iodine products from that are very safe and um, they're long-standing companies. So I feel very good about their supplements and obviously giving them to our patients. So anyway, I hope you found that helpful. I'm Michelle LeMay with The Wellness Connection. Look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for watching.